Hello, everyone. Welcome to this CUBE conversation here in Palo Alto, California. I'm John Furrier, host of the CUBE. We're here at Thorough Pass, the CEO and co-founder, Sam Lee. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for uh, joining us for the CUBE conversation. Glad to be here. So Sam, you've started a company, you're in the compliance area, you got all kinds of new regulations out there these days. I mean, I mean, I can't remember the days when you had all this, these regulations, oh, I'm happy. HIPAA for healthcare, you got all kinds of data protection uh, compliances. Data is the hottest topic right now and managing that data, securing that data is the number one problem people are trying to solve and, and not lose the innovation angle. Take a minute to explain what you guys do um, at ThoroughPass, what you guys main focus. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. And uh, you know, um, Sam started ThoroughPass about four years ago. It all came from a personal experience. Um, you know, I was running a FinTech company in the InsurTech space before ThoroughPass. And you know, we're doing great, we're, we're, we're creating a great product. But then as soon as we uh, hit uh, real customer conversations, talking to customers and partners with consequences, they start asking about problem questions about uh, our compliance posture. Do you have an information security policy? Do you have a SOC 2 audit? Can you answer those 400 questions in Excel, right? We were a 12 person company in Soho, like, you know, crunching code every day. We didn't have all of those. So, you know, I started out and said, okay, let's bite the bullet. Let's get a SOC 2 audit, which is one of the most popular compliance framework here in the States. And I thought it would be a six weeks process talk. Six months later, I still don't have the report. At the same time, like those information security best practices are very important, right? We, we want the world to be a better place and we want to take our data, our customer's data seriously. So I want to build a um, informative um, compliance program. At the same time, five years ago, there was drastically lack of tools, uh, software solutions, yeah. um, and good audit solutions for me to do that. So uh, I then spent some time at Bain Capital Ventures as an EIR, uh, I like to joke that, you know, that is a, a good job for a jobless MBA. I yeah. go there, I uh, you know, drink their coffee, eat their snacks and think about startup ideas. Yeah. And this compliance pain point really stood up, um, you know, uh, high on my list. Yeah. Uh, why is there not a TurboTax-like or Carta-like solution for information security compliance, yeah. which every technology company needs? Uh, and, you know, uh, because as you said, like more companies are hosting data of their customers, this has just becoming a bigger problem than it was before. So started ThoroughPass back then, it was known as uh, Leica. Uh, we rebranded to ThoroughPass earlier this year uh, to be really the one-stop shop for uh, IT compliance and privacy compliance for technology companies. Uh, and, you know, we created a TurboTax-like experience for companies to set up their compliance for the first time, um, accelerate their program build out automatically collect and verify evidence, as well as demonstrating compliance to enterprise buyers or partners alike. You know, Sam, I love this uh, story because, you know, the transition to cloud computing has accelerated the entrepreneurial opportunities. You see startups all the time getting funded. Now you got an AI, but it's also opened up small, medium sized enterprises to have more capabilities. And, you know, I remember, you know, you get all these kind of pen tests, SOC 2 reports, as you mentioned, there you, go. you know, it's hard to do that. And the time clock, you mentioned six months and getting the report, but things can change too. Then you got to go back and do it again. So this idea of cloud native and agile development is kind of really where the pain point is too, not just for small companies, but even large companies to kind of have that framework of compliance. And this is a huge challenge. It's a service model, um, but it's gotta be fast yeah, but, and agile and matching that agility to compliance is like molasses, slow moving, you know, <laughs> icebergs <laughs> versus, you know, rapid fire coding. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, really, as you said, the macro has pushed that uh, towards where we are, right? Um, uh, there are more regulations uh, around privacy and cybersecurity being passed um, in the country and uh, as well as, you know, in, in internationally. And there are more best practices that the industries, which traditionally are only, uh, you know, being enforced upon large companies, are now trickling down to vendors of different sizes, right? That's also because, like, there are those, um, um, high profile uh, data breaches happening, mm -hmm. which uh, makes the regulator set up more rules, um, as well as pushing the largest enterprise to push down those requirements to all their vendors, which you know is, is a great trend for the industry. But at the same time, uh, it is very hard to you know, set up, maintain, and demonstrate uh, information security compliance, especially for cloud native internet companies. 
if you look at how this was traditionally done, there are a lot of manual process involved, right? How do you prove that you have all those security controls set up? It involves a lot of screenshots, yeah. uh, a lot of uh, uploading static documents to auditors SharePoint. And that is not a, a great process. And there, and all the questions uh, the, too are all old. Do you have a virtual machine on bare metal? Like, what are you talking about? I'm on the cloud, like, what are you talking about? All these old IT yeah. policies are archaic, right? They're not relevant. Um, but I think the build side is a, um, a key value of being agility, but I, you brought up the idea of, of working together. We're in an API economy now and AppSec review teams need to be fast. And I think the growth for companies and doing business with other companies require this. Can you talk about how companies can do this with the right way? Because I see the growth being stunted. If you can't be compliant or have right. a framework, not only does your build team get kind of stunted or, or held back or dragged down, but your growth, operational growth exactly. could be hindered. Yeah, and you know, I think that is uh, actually one of the most common reasons why companies um, pick up compliance and you know, purchase thorough pass earlier in their in their journey is because that uh, those requirements has trickled down to the youngest companies, right? And you know, when compliance become a gross blocker, yeah. uh, that's when the uh, sense of urgency really goes up, right? And also, it is much cheaper to set up a, a robust and effective compliance program early on. Uh, versus until you have hundreds of employees, then you have more people to train and more culture uh, to change, right? So we, 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 we like to partner with companies of different uh, size and stages, but uh, definitely a lot of our customers are younger companies, FinTech, health tech, SaaS companies, they hold really sensitive data and they want to do the right thing. Our job is to make uh, following compliance as simple as possible so that they can focus on what they do best, innovate in their field, without having to waste time a lot of, on a lot of manual processes and like, you know, yeah. busy work, uh, I like to call it, uh, with compliance and focus on the really strategic issues that really matters. Innovation not being dragged down by com old school compliance. I love that. Can, take me through how it works. I love it. How do you inject this guidance, this expert guidance into the customer's journeys? Take us through an example, if you can, through um, yeah. that the compliance so, is you know, right for the- you are a yeah, you are a brand new tech company, let's say in the AI space, right? And you're starting to sell to enterprise, whether it's financial institutions, healthcare systems, or, you know, big retailers. And they will start to ask questions like, can you show me your SOC 2 report, right? Can you prove that you're taking our data seriously? That's usually a very common trigger for people to, you know, purchase a IT compliance solutions and start pursuing a information security audit such as SOC 2 or you know, ISO 27001 or high trust in the healthcare space. And then you will sign up for, for ThoroughPass. Um, it's very simple. It's very much like TurboTax, you know, for, for us living in the States. Um, you know, you sign up for ThoroughPass, you go through an onboarding process, you get paired with um, a team member uh, on us, uh, which will help you throughout the process. Yeah. Uh, and then you connect to all the SaaS tools that you're already using. Um, if you think about it, what the auditors need to see eventually is you have encryption turned on. You have multi-factor authentication turned on, right? It's all of those different uh, metadata that we can automatically collect for, by integrating with the SaaS tools that you're already using. So we have a robust integration portfolio with you know, the cloud service providers, Jira, GitHub, like all of those tools that matters in a compliance context. We ingest those data into ThoroughPass and we perform the validation directly on the platform. So that you know, traditionally, a auditor have to you know eyeball a screenshot or manually review a report in order to uh, test out a control. That process is almost completely automated through uh, the integrations with those systems, as well as our auditor platforms, uh, so that the customers experience the entire process from setting up the compliance program to proving it to the auditor, all the way to proving it to their enterprise buyers directly and completely on the ThoroughPass platform. Yeah, I love I love the TurboTax kind of uh, reference. Obviously, get QuickBooks is the, the other product that they sell to enterprises. Um, I love the Carta example. I mean, the folks watching that might not know what Carta does. They're a company that does all the manual or the heavy lifting that was a manual process with involving stock, who wants stock in the company, stock options, cap tables, cap, how companies capitalize, which is a grueling manual industry, right? It's like, and, and yeah. it also impacts and a lot of the, the, the transactions, whether it's a, a more a financing, if it's venture financing or M&A deal or an acquisition, how hand, they handle stock programs is automated. 
yeah. that is kind of we're, we're, we're really we're really inspired by the uh we're, we're really inspired by the business model uh, of card up you know uh, founder Henry is an Andrew investor as well uh, what they do is they turn a otherwise very heavy manual once a year consulting heavy process the 49a validation into a delightful yeah. software driven experience yeah. that's what we're doing here for information security audit that's what we're doing here for SOC 2 yeah. as well as all the other different frameworks that we support the thing too about the card and value process that you like I also will add that it uh, makes you confident because they track everything and now the worst thing about manual is who didn't file the right thing? Where's that paperwork? Where's that piece? Where's that file? This is where it gets harder, okay. right? So that uh, that delightful but confident experience is critical. I get that for the startups. I think you'll win, run the table on, on DevOps teams and startups love the product. How about enterprises? Take me through, I'm an enterprise, I got existing stuff. How do you, how do you interface with that value proposition? Yeah, uh, absolutely. I think for the enterprise persona, um, like they care about efficiency, right? And we we inter like we have a lot of compliance professionals on staff who came from that world. Nobody is interested in spending you know all of their day on collecting manual evidences or doing reports or the worst case chasing different teams in the company to uh, submit their evidence requests just to pass the compliance requirement. We streamline all of that uh, by a lot of integrations. Uh, we're building, we're using the LOM model to streamline a lot of policy review and uh, validation piece, which is very, uh, a very interesting use case. Um, what they also hate doing is because larger companies tend to uh, be compliant with multiple compliance frameworks from different, you know, uh, geographical regulations and like different best practices, they, they often find themselves in the audit for the whole year. Right. I just finished my SOC to audit. I'm going through my ISO certification. You know, then I'm doing uh, high trust. Well, we are able to offer because a lot of those requirements are similar, um, uh, and the evidence are shared. We're able to do what we called one audit, multiple reports, um, so that you can complete one audit, and uh, being uh, all your evidence uh, are being automatically mapped and verified to different compliance frameworks and you will get you know, multiple reports or certifications or audit done in one go, drastically saving time on that. Just like startup founders want to focus on innovation and what matters most, compliance professionals at those large enterprises want to focus on the more strategic and you know, cybersecurity focused yeah. activities yeah. versus manually chasing people for evidence. And that's the piece that we streamline and replace. Yeah, the cloud, the cloud models shown everyone, the undifferentiated heavy lifting Love that quote from Andy Jassy, it's so, so persistent over time. I got to ask you, why do you think companies are hesitant to acknowledge their need to obtain compliance advice and maintenance? Is it they don't, ah, we'll get to it later. Are they, are they, what's their, why is their attitude like this? Why are they hesitant yeah. to acknowledge that they actually need, are they looking the other way? They're just not busy. What's the issue? Yeah, well, look, um, you know, I'm a two-time startup founder. I totally understand that mentality, right? If it's uh, if it's not broken, why fix it? And you know, there there are uh, always a lot of things uh, going on. So totally understand that. Um, what we discovered is, you know, if you need your compliance posture, if you need your SOC to report yesterday, like that's that's probably too late, right? We can help you accelerate and you know take a lot of the busy work away, but you need those programs early on because. If, if the company has become you know, in any way successful, you will be asked those tough questions uh, and you want to look prepared uh, and not last minute uh, when being asked. You know, it, it's you know, five years ago, I think a lot of companies are doing this much later than they do today. Um, you know, thanks to us kind of, uh, and, and our PR companies like you know, educating the market a little bit more on the importance of setting up compliance uh, in the first place. But you know we're seeing we're seeing less hesitation on investing in this because people realize like this these are you know not optional these are must haves and they can actually accelerate uh, your business right if you want to build reputation early on with your enterprise buyers by like having those certifications you know nailed down early on is actually a great strategy. Let me ask you a question on this that point because I think it's clear that compliance was that one one department ah the compliance department they got to check the boxes. Now with cloud, you got APIs, you got interactions, you got business deals. Again, I come back to AppSec reviews. You know, when I want to do a deal with someone, and sometimes it requires full inspection. Talk about software supply chains, the security issues, shift left. Now data is an innovation strategy, but with legal and compliance issues, you got data protection compliance, new things coming. 
who who knows yeah. what's next? How do you how do you see that, Sam? Because I think this is the the world that's going to get much more dynamic and robust, as they say. You know? Yeah, I I completely agree. Right, we're we're sharing knowingly or unknowingly a lot of data with a lot of vendors out there, right? Both as a consumer and as a as a startup operator. So you know, it's become really important for for. Uh, com compliance professionals at the enterprise to get hold of all of their vendors' compliance closures. And you know that's where uh, solutions like ThoroughPass really help them to not only build up a robust compliance program, but also can effectively demonstrate to their partners and buyers because those diligence needs to happen. And you know, together, uh, we want to prove out that um, our customers are doing a great job. Like you, they deserve the credit to prove that out. So we have a solution to help companies answering due diligence questions more efficiently, yeah. like with the LM model and all of the great things that they're already doing on the platform. Pretty much like a lot of the questions that the enterprise asks, you have great answers for, and you have data to prove that you're doing that. Yeah. Uh, it's it's the process of getting them out uh, uh, in, in the format that makes sense um, that uh, you know, takes a lot of time. So we help them to take away that heavy lifting. And obviously, our um, uh, SOC two reports and you know different compliance certifications are accepted by the biggest banks and you know, hospital systems in the world. So that by itself, um, you know, proves out the compliance posture and can save a lot of time in the due diligence process. I was going to ask you that question. You just beat me to it, but I, I think we, we should be a customer as well. We definitely need your service for our Cube Cloud and our our, our Generative AI stuff with our all our transcripts and media. I have to ask you about Absolutely. Customer. Take us through the um, what people are saying about. Uh, thorough patch. You mentioned some of the big banks. Um, you know, compliance is a huge issue. I mean, data protection, audit, all these things kind of come together in one thing. It's not just compliance audit. It's like data management, data legal, data supply chain. Uh, you know, we've been yeah. kicking that term around because you know this. You're seeing supply chain questions with data. You know, AI is saying you know hallucinations in OpenAI and ChatGPT. People like, whoa, whoa, where is that data coming from? A lot of things are changing. What are your customers saying about you guys? Where are they happy? Where are you winning? Yeah, well, they uh, they wish they had them. They had us sooner. Uh, that that for sure, right? It's like you know, uh, usually uh, companies still delay a little bit on when they invest, but you know, once they are on board, it can't go very quickly. Um, they really love the uh, bench of expertise and you know opinions that we have in the space. Like we have. Uh, the highest um, expert to customer ratio that we, we like to call it, right? Every company is a little bit different. The standards are the same, but there are different interpretations. We want to make sure all of our customers get a really personalized experience to, to the extent possible, right? To, uh, to, to really demonstrate their compliance in the most uh, differentiated way uh, to their customers. So, you know, we are uh, very much invested in our experts uh, that are both on staff as well as we partner with. Um, and lastly is the the, the piece around uh, integrating audit uh, and certification into people's compliance journey, right? When we first started the company, uh, you know, we we're like, you know, some of our competitors today, you know, we help you set up compliance, all the red lights turn green, but very quickly we realized that if we cannot help the customers go through the audit process smoothly with multiple different compliance framework, that's only battle half one. So we went out of our way to create it, um, you know, we were calling it the oral way, the integrated audit experience into our system so that the customer can go through the experience completely on our UI and there are no surprises throughout the process so that they can go from, uh, you know, drafting their first policy on the platform all the way to having the compliance report, compliance report in hand directly on the platform. So these are a couple, um, you know, major differentiators that we have we love our customers. Uh, we have, you know, have the luxury to found a great vertical to be in, uh, and we really want to, you know, with our effort, build a little bit more trust in the marketplace so that the technology companies can have a better name when they are selling to enterprises. Yeah, love the confidence you give customers, and I love the TurboTax reference because it ties together. Look at TurboTax. I remember when I was doing my startup in the years, I'd use TurboTax. I didn't have any money to hire, you know, expertise. You know, I wanted to have that built into the software. You guys are doing the same thing here. Love that. Quick question while I got you here. You got to love the AI aspect coming in to help you with your experts because if you're going to build that expert ratio out to your customers, I'm sure you're going to get a lot of data and, and some of the AI trends is a, is a tailwind for you guys, right? Yeah, 100%, right? I think um, um, until, uh, until this latest wave of uh, LM 
models, like we're able to ingest and validate a lot of structured data from different data sources, right? All of your configuration from Amazon Web Service, like all of the pull requests on GitHub, and that allows us to automate a lot of the controlled testing uh, and create really you know, efficiency audit process. The LLM complete the other uh, part of the puzzle, which is how can we parse large amount of documentation, policies, procedures in an effective way so that the you know validators, the auditors, the enterprise buyers can quickly find and ver verify what they care about without having to spend a lot of human hours on reviewing those. Because we have the audit integrated in our solutions and you know we're the only company that does that, yeah. the LM wave gave us a incredible amount of uh, uh, new technology opportunities for us to make our process more efficient and more accurate mm -hmm. so that our teams can you know do more work in a shorter period of time without sacrificing quality and our customers get a somewhat magical experience on right you can submit a software report and you know see where the gaps are and that is all enabled by the LM models that uh, we're, we're leveraging in our technologies. I love, I love the focus on ease of use. I love the focus on the integration with DevOps and cloud, but I think the real value is you really kind of focus on the core fear of a customer, which is the audit, the dreaded audit. I mean, coming, that is the biggest pain point and fear a customer might have. So yeah. big, big difference. And I think yeah, and you know, a SOC 2 audit for Walmart is different from a SOC 2 audit for a 20 person company, right? So, you know, following following kind of the static playbook may not be the best way to, to you know, the mo or the most stage appropriate way for your company. Um, you know, we try to tailor everything that uh, we give to the customers and with the integrations, as well as the policy review process that I talked about, uh, this process can be really, really further streamlined. For a startup and a growing company, that audit could really take the wheels off the bus big time. And, and, and derail, derail a company's momentum. Great, great solution. Sam, great to have you on, co-founder and CEO. Love your, love your uh, positioning, love the vertical you're in. A lot of great headroom, bringing SaaS and automation into a market that needs it. And it's changing too, it's only going to be more complex. Um, final comments, give a plug for the company, what you're working on, how much funding have you raised, how many employees do you have, what are you looking to do, you're hiring obviously. Uh, what's the final pitch? Yeah, thank you, John, really, really glad to be here. Um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm lucky, as I said, to found this great vertical and a great uh, mission to be part of. Um, you know, we raised our Series C last year. We're about 180, 190 folks headquartered here in New York with large presence across the country and in LATAM. Um, what I want to say is like information security compliance is no longer optional for, for any companies that hold data. And ThoroughPass is the only compliance and audit solution that truly gives our customers everything they need without surprises and gaps. Partnering with us allows you to reduce costs, build trust with customers and partners, and more importantly, focus on the things that matter most to your businesses and not get bogged down by compliance. ThoroughPass inspired by TurboTax and Carta, two great software packages for startups and growing companies and enterprises. Sam Lee, co-founder and CEO, thanks for uh, coming on this CUBE conversation. Thanks for uh, joining me today. Thank you, John. All right, I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. Thanks for watching. Thank you.